Culture case. This is a, this is what we do. Every single person at our company has a culture case. Every single uh, interview that we do has a culture case. And what it does is we put their name, we put their LinkedIn profile, what is their current position. Um, and then we, you know, obviously if you're trying to hire somebody for your firm full time, we figure out what their personality types are. We identify what we think is their key benefits, what we think is their key risks, right? Are there any red flags that, you know, I, I interviewed a guy for, um, uh, SVP of product and he made a comment you know, offhand and I said you know does this sound interesting to you and he's like yeah you know building products sound interesting but like tax doesn't really sound that interesting I'm like we're building a tax planning software like <laughs> you gotta be interested in tax right and so like I, that was a red flag for me like right off the bat I knew that you probably aren't gonna be about the best fit if I weigh my risks against my benefits, I, I'll kind of take a look, but I need to write it down. I need a place to identify. I also have a thing here that says any rules are broken. Like I've got specific rules on certain types of people that we're hiring. And I kind of give you guys the template of what we recommend. Um, and you see, are, is a rule broken? One rule for us is you must have a job, right? A lot of times over the past few months, some people don't have jobs because the company closed down because of COVID. Okay, we broke that rule, but it's because the company closed down due to COVID. Okay, we're fine with breaking that rule. And then what you do, this is more important, I think, in your case is writing, I met with this person and here's what I thought about them. All the different thoughts of all my notes about this person, right? All the different things that I, that I could consider. If I meet with them again, all the new things that I considered and I go back to look at my notes to figure out like this was a red flag when they said this. Let me follow up with that person on that follow-up email or follow-up interview to make sure that they're the right person. Now, what you're doing, again, is you're using an outsource company, so it won't be as crazy because if you don't like that person, you could tell Inertor, I don't like this person, they'll get you a new one, uh, mm -hmm. which is really nice. You don't have to like worry about all the hiring costs associated with bringing that person on as your full-time employee and go through all this extensive work, but still having an overall understanding on what their benefits are and the key red flags. And then you, you have this for your one person and you have this for the other person and you compare and contrast, and then you can make your decision from there. 